Welcome to this video about a very big topic of mine that I have a big bugbearer called prescribing cascades, which is when a medication or the inappropriate use of a medication leads to a multitude of problems, which then lead to the use of other medicines as well. So we're going to go through two main examples here from a doctor and a pharmacist point of view and to give you practical uh, advice and top tips on how to recognize and avoid these in the future. So this video, we're going to talk about the prescribing cascade, which is when the appropriate use of a medication leads to a side effect, which if not recognized, leads to the prescribing of yet another medication and then another medication. So it's a problem that we see quite commonly in our practice. So we're going to each give an example of something which we've come across. So Eleanor, go ahead. I had a patient, Marina, 67-year-old, who presented to me with bloating. She kept telling me that she feels like she is nine months pregnant and very uncomfortable, very unpleasant feeling. And when I went into her history and then medication list, I found that she's taking a medication, lactulose, which common side effect of that medication is bloating. It's a medication for constipation, so I needed to understand why she's 67, quite a um, fit and well lady, why is she constipated? So it turned out that she's on water medications and she did not know why she is on a water medicine and then we went into her history a few years back and she remembered that oh yes doctor um, I went to see my doctor a few years ago because of the swelling of my feet swelling on my ankles I just noticed that I hardly could put my shoes on so the doctor gave me water medicine well, we know the indications for water medications. They are for blood pressure, they are for fluid retention, usually fluid retention to do with either heart condition or kidney condition. And actually, Marina had no kidney condition and no heart condition. So why did she develop ankle swelling? Why her feet became so swollen? We kept going backwards and I found that she's on a medication, Amlodipine, prescribed some years ago for her blood pressure. So she's a fit and well lady, but there is family history of high blood pressure and she was started on Amlodipine, which quite quickly led to gradual swelling of her ankles. And uh, um, that's how she presented to her doctor and ended up on a water medicine. Now, what is interesting is getting back through this cascade and actually coming and finding the culprit led to a quite an extensive medication review and we managed to replace amlodipine with another blood pressure medicine and Marina did still need blood pressure uh, medicines. We mm -hmm. couldn't get rid of amlodipine completely. So we replaced amlodipine with another blood pressure medication and we managed to get rid of ankle swelling, water medicine, her constipation resolved. I advised her to drink plenty because of course, worrying about ankle swelling, she automatically reduced her fluid intake as well. And then we got rid of the constipation medication, the lactulose and this all resulted in successful release of her nine months pregnancy. <laughs> very good, very good. Now, the, the example I'm going to give is actually a patient, Rodney, who was at my clinic probably about a year ago now. Uh, Rodney is 67 years of age and he presented actually to us with just a review of his medicines. But at the point he came in, he was suffering from diarrhea, uh, quite you know, long-standing diarrhea he'd had, diarrhea he'd had for several mm. months now, requiring the use of medicines. So going back through the cascade, uh, he literally was started on a stomach tablet we call a PPI or proton pump inhibitor. For many of you out there, uh, this is omeprazole, lansoprazole, to give you an example. And we know pantoprazole, and pantoprazole ezomeprazole, well. there are quite a few of them. Absolutely. And when we go through the uh, uh, kind of the why these drugs were used, he then was on this drug because of stomach irritation or gastritis, which was actually caused then by another medicine called a non steroidal anti inflammatory, ibuprofen, diclofenac, which was for a pain relief. And then it was like, what was it used for? It was leg pain. So he developed leg pain. And then when we went back through that, the culprit drug was a statin, which a lot of us are actually taking. So uh, statins can cause muscle pain. And in some people, it can be quite unbearable. And it was the muscle pain he got from his statin 
led to him actually requiring the use of a painkiller, uh, which then caused stomach irritation, required the use of a drug to prevent the uh, indigestion, which then went on to cause his diarrhea. So going all the way back through, we were able to change his statting to an alternative. And um, he then came off the medicine and his diarrhea went away. So it just shows you actually that uh, investment in time by healthcare professionals looking at your medicines is extremely important. Our top tips as far as prescribing cascades are concerned are review your medicines every three to six months. Be obsessional about it. Challenge your doctor, challenge your pharmacist, get that appointment and get your medicines reviewed on a regular basis. And there's only one tip that I'm going to give you, and that is understand the reason for every single medicine, every medicine. And if you're aware of that medicine and why it's been used, you may be able to yourself go back and think about what may have caused it. So I um, hope this video actually helped you. Uh, any comments, you just want to uh, leave some messages in the link below and we'll come back to you. Thank you very much. Bye. And click that subscribe button for us. <laughs> Thank Bye. you very much.